what's up everyone it's melissa here and today's video is gonna be on a, a little unboxing this is my birthday gift to myself um my birthday is on friday june 14 this year um because it does fall on a father's day weekend we actually ended up celebrating it um on sunday or this past sunday so the weekend before father's day that's when i celebrated my birthday because i don't know when this video is going to go up hopefully by my birthday but i always like to get myself a little something i am going to do a haul i guess of like what i got for my birthday but this one is a special one because it is uh an unboxing of a nice luxurious handbag as you guys know I am vegan. I did go vegan, uh, completely lifestyle and everything. Um, what I already have that is leather, um, like for shoes and stuff, I'm not gonna get rid of them. I don't think I'll be getting rid of them. The same with handbags, I don't think I'll be getting rid of any as of now. Um, I don't know, maybe in the future it might change, I'll get rid of them. Um, I'm not sure yet. But they are just sitting there and I kind of, I think one of the hardest things of me going vegan was handbags. Because handbags have a soft spot for me, especially a luxury handbag. So I was trying to look online for a luxury handbag designer. There really is none. I know Givenchy came out with an all, I think, PVC um, bag. But that one sold out everywhere and i know dior has that like all canvas bag i don't think it has any leather but it, it's just it's really hard to find a high-end brand that has no leather on it because it's either the trimming has leather the interior something on there has leather luckily there is a high-end designer that does vegan bags um I think she is a vegetarian though because some of her bags you know what let's go to the unboxing and in this box this is how it came like I didn't do anything to it but just open it um, where I sent it to they have to open it just because they want to make sure it's nothing for work but in here it comes with the little thank you purchase from Fashion File. And then it came with the nail file. Oh, I love these nail files. But now they have sayings on the back. It says, I like my money where I can see it. Hanging in my closet. Oh yeah. So it came with a nail file, which I actually like their nail files. And then it came with all of this like extra like stuff. In here, okay, so in here is the receipt, and I'll save that for a little bit. And then it just has just more cards, it's 100% certified from them, and they're experts. If it's not authentic, you can return it. That's the one thing I love about Fashion Files that you can find really high end designers for a really good price, and you know you're trusting that it is real. Whereas other ones are like, well, I, I mean. I don't know if they really are going to verify it. So this is a receipt. I'll keep that for now. Ugh. And then it comes very well, very well, um, like protected. This is how it looks like. Ooh, sorry, like mess everywhere. And it comes in a fashion file dust bag. I don't know if it came with its own dust bag or not. Um, I know when they come with their own dust bag, they still give you a fashion file dust bag to keep. I like to use these to like stuff, um, stuff the inside of my bags if it already comes with a um, dust bag from the brand. But I think it did. Oh my God, I just took a little sneak peek of it. It is a cute little like pink, red, corally um, colored backpack. I actually thought it was going to be more red, but I'm actually kind of happy that it's like 
a pinky red, not all red. I love the size of it. It's all small and tiny. So it's a cute, sorry, little Stella McCartney bag. So Stella McCartney is a, I think a vegetarian designer. I think she still uses wool. She still uses like, I think it's wool that she uses. I think that's what it is. But this is the, let me read it out. Stella McCartney Shaggy Deer Quilted Mini Falabella Backpack. Oh, pink, F-U-L, I don't know. Here, let, me, let me show you guys. Covering the address, hopefully. Yeah, I am. So F-L-U-O. I'm wondering if it's like fluorescent but it is super, super cute. It was in great condition. They have new, they have excellent, they have very good, good, and then fair. So this was very good condition. Um, I really do like it. What did it say? It's shaggy? Yeah, it's shaggy. You can tell it's a little bit shaggy, which is gonna make good for um, like wear and tear. It's not gonna show as much as like other handbags <laughs> so so happy and it has gold uh, not gold it has gun metal um gun metal metal so oh my god i love their handbags i've actually wanted one of her handbags for a while i just didn't know that she was actually a um vegan or vegetarian fashion designer that made me really excited when i found out that she was so when you open it it just has a snap button closure right there you just snap it on and then when you open it it has another closure which is these little oh, the chain's really heavy which is this little like thing where you just like yeah you just do that i don't know how to call that and then this is the perfect size i know not ever this size is not for everyone i really am into small bags even before when i was purchasing super high-end designers i was kind of getting into the really small backpack kind of feel it does ooh, okay it comes with its own little stella mccartney um dust bag 100% organic cotton that's what i'm talking about so we have that and then on the inside it also comes with the cards this is i guess just information of it or the SKU numbers sorry if you guys hear noise chloe's on the other side yeah that's just the SKU number this actually is the original price of the bag so this bag was 896 dollars right original i paid did i pay that no i paid 281 and 45 cents so this bag was on sale and that's why you guys see a 115 discount and then i don't know what this is it comes with another little thing what did I say? What did I say? It's sustainable for vegetarians. It says this item utilizes non-leather vegetarian materials with unique finishing, high quality manufacturers. This retains our ongoing commitment to animal and eco-friendly fashion. And it's the vintage feel to this. The vintage feel to this fabric is obtained by the process of distressing the surface of the fabric so yeah that's what i was trying to say that it looks already distressed when i first got it so it didn't look i don't know how to say it like when you first get like a leather bag it looks brand new but the intention for this one is to look already like i guess used or distressed i really like the combo with the material and the stitching because the stitching is like a deeper purple red pink color and then the actual like fabric is like a more fluorescent pink 
So when you go inside, it's basically all oh, open and like just one whole pocket. And then it has just a super teeny tiny pocket up here. I mean, maybe for like a chapstick or a lipstick or something, but um, I'm trying to show you guys. But yeah, everything's just clean. It says Stella McCartney all over the interior. It has this cute, ooh, okay. So you can't really move the backpack. It's already there. It has that little like leather tab right there so it won't move. It says Stella McCartney made in somewhere. I can't remember. Made in Italy. Oh, that's shiny. Made in Italy. Yes. And it's a cute backpack. You cannot adjust the strap, so hopefully it's a good fit. Let me try. Let me try it on. I hope you guys can see. Ooh, it's cold. Like where it's landing, so it's like right above like my butt. <laughs> I don't know if that's good to say, but it's like right above the butt. I really like the chains. The only thing is that the chains are a little bit cold right now, so I don't know how I feel about that. The only thing that did worry me right now when I wore it is, or uh, when I first opened it, is how heavy the chain is and how comfortable they were going to be, but they really are. Um, maybe if you overfill the backpack, it might dig into your shoulders, but it didn't for me, and I don't really overfill my backpack. I do see, like, that little thing. Oop. That's kind of pulling off. It doesn't have a scent. It's just like, it just doesn't have a scent. Oh, there's like another one right here. Another little like pull off of there, but I mean, it's in the back. You can see a little bit of wear right here. Um, the metal, just teeny, 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 tiny bits of scratching. Not too bad. Um, let me show you guys the little, things up here these look perfect these look super perfect no scratches on this and then on here it also says Stella McCartney and there is like a, a couple little scratches but on the little ball things that they have there's no scratches they're actually pretty much perfect all the hardware up here looks good sorry i like to inspect it when i buy it there but again just the snap closure which is the thing that you use the most is a little bit scratched and then you just see a little bit of wear just a tiny bit like down here not too bad the bottom does not have feet but this kind of i don't know how you, how you how are you guys seeing it but this the chain kind of sticks out on the bottom so i'm pretty sure if you place it somewhere um, it might not do anything to the bottom, but it might just because of how soft the material is. Very honestly, it's just right here, like the little wear and tear. Yeah, just on that corner and on the other corner. The bottom looks fine. There's no like off stitching, nothing. It looks really good. Um, but again, that's the look that this bag is supposed to be. It's supposed to give you like a used shaggy kind of feel, not like a brand brand new kind of feel. And that's kind of what I've been liking because all of my vegan bags that I've had, I've been just throwing them around and I kind of wanted to get a really nice designer bag. Um, I will be purchasing more Stella McCartney. I am looking into more higher end designers. She is a high end designer, but I'm also looking into like your like the Givenchy bag like I'm looking into other designers that maybe they have more um, maybe they have like non leather bags I feel like if you buy the non leather bags they'll be more motivated to make more of those non leather bags I don't know if you guys feel what I'm saying but that's kind of my whole ordeal with that um, but I'm very happy with my new little backpack. I've been wanting a backpack for a while too. I was this close to buying like a super cheap, affordable, cute vegan back, um, red bag. But then I remembered that I still had this and, and that I had to unbox this for you guys. So I'm very pleased with what I got. 
myself for my birthday. Super happy. But I hope you guys enjoy this video and I will see you guys soon. Bye.